My name is Eddie, Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe, number 1316. Built December 1911 at the Baldwin Locomotive Workshop in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. While stationed out of San Angelo, Texas, I'm not too familiar with the terrain here. My job was fast passenger runs, but that was outsourced by diesels to local freight, so I'm qualified for both kinds of jobs. I hope to work and serve well on your railroad. Too wordy? Well, it's about as good as a steam engine can do, I suppose. So, it's good? Yeah. It, it'll be nice to run the main line again. Uh, thanks again uh, to both you two for getting me back on Revenue Rails again. Including all the other employees and volunteers. Send, send my regards, too. Ah, uh, that's our pleasure. Better to preserve what we can now till it's all gone. Unfortunately, not all engines have been as lucky as you. Yeah... Think of it like this. Where we're going, it's all lucky steam engines, like you, still running as they did when they were built. I mean, that's gotta show some passion in the owner. Obviously, he's gotta love steam engines. That, or he's bound to a contract and short a neck all. Oh, don't be so negative, you. We'll be out of this roundhouse soon enough. Well, more of a rat's nest now, but still. You'll have some company soon enough. I mean, there has been the occasional diesel that'll stop in for an overnight rest and leaves by morning, so I, I guess it hasn't been all that bad. More so, I'm tired of seeing this roundhouse get taken over by nature. I mean, is that not what happened with those engines left to storage yards all over this country? Or the world, even? And that's also what's happening to passenger trains, so I've heard too. Passenger cars being left in storage and trains outright cancelled? Well, that is true. The Santa Fe is still running with high class- Judging by this hole of a building, I think not. Oh, hush you. As I was saying, the Santa Fe, your own home road may I remind you, is still running with high class service. We're topping the Central, and PRR even. You mean, Penn Central? Ugh, <sighs> yeah. I'm so used to them being separate railroads, you know? How are you feeling, Eddie? Good enough to steam? Uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you I haven't felt this way in uh, 14 years. That's some good news, especially coming from you. Hush you. Well, look who's the snappy one now. Hey, I, I guess a little fire's all I needed. I guess so, huh? Why don't we get onto the main line now and head to the city? Let's hope these boiler and steam tests weren't lying. We'll top you off on water and oil and get on our way. Sunday morning is coming down on us, so we better get going before the main line gets too busy. I'll go let the office know we're heading out. Still feeling good, Eddie? Yep. Good, good. We'll be able to open the throttle up for a bit before and after we get to the station. The line's clear, but the Super C will be flying by us on Main 1 westbound. I was also told they have something special for us. I guess they want us to take it to our new workplace, an old as hell caboose and an observation car. They're just giving them away? I guess so? Not needed anymore, and they're just extra property to pay for. The passenger car is on an old siding in the yard, and the caboose is backed by the old sanding tower, the one we passed by earlier. 
All right then, let's go get them then, I guess. Are these even roadworthy? And are we even going to be allowed to take them with us on our new line? Well, we'll find out soon, won't we? If something goes wrong, they'll most likely be right after we leave, so it won't be a big deal, probably. like they're here. He brought a coach and a caboose. Oh, <laughs> hello. You must be Eddie, right? Oh yeah. I uh, my name is Eddie Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe, number thirteen sixteen, built December nineteen eleven at the Baldwin Locomotive Works in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. While stationed out of San Angelo, Texas, I'm not too familiar with the terrain here. My job was fast passenger runs, but was outsourced by diesels to local freights. I'm qualified for both kinds of jobs. I hope to work serve while on your railroad. Right. Well, my name is Raymond Barry. You can call me Manager, Mr. Barry, Mr. B. Whatever you really like. And I'm the manager of the Illinois and Western Railway Company. Or INW for short. Oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Barry. I'm Eddie's driver, Charlie Wayne. Eddie's fireman over here. Curtis Jackins or CJ. Ah, okay. Pleasure to meet the three of you. Anywho, you're gonna be my new primary passenger engine. Cruise and passengers have complained about my 280s and 060 wobbling and bouncing pulling the passenger cars we have. Not that there's anything wrong with the coaches, but the lack of a trailing truck is my issue. Whew, I'm glad the Santa Fe got you in working order. They definitely lent a hand to my railroad more than a few times. I, I see. Why don't we get on our way then? I suspect you've already gotten clearance to head on through. Yeah, only thing we'll encounter is the super seat, but that should be passing on the other main. Now, my next question is, what's with the passenger car and caboose? Fort Madison Yard Office said we could take them with us. Figured a short line could use them, I guess. Ah, these look quite nice, not gonna lie. I suppose I could make this here coach my own business rider, but we'll see. Well, enough slacking. Let's head on out. I'll ride in your cab, Eddie, and I'll give you a rundown of the line. Yes, yes, sir. Been a long time since I've said that. <laughs> Fort Madison Rail Bridge, owned by the Santa Fe. We're crossing into Illinois right about now. The line here heads down grade about 1 or 2% until we reach Marion. Buke Tunnel is up here. It's all downhill from here, topography wise, of course. You know, I haven't seen any signs of the super. I remember when I used to go that fast. Here's the 
Here's the Marion Interchange with Santa Fe. We have trackage rights between Marion and industries to Fort Madison, so you may occasionally head back that way for jobs. However, from here on out, you're riding on INW trackage. Little bump. No fret. Back there across the state highway is an oil facility. Oil loads the Peoria, the ATSF, and other locations on our line. The siding behind us is a long storage track. You see, Marion used to be the main hub of the INW, but about 10 years ago we had some pretty significant rainfall. And it completely flooded this entire area! Didn't help any that the land we ended up building the sheds on was basically at the same height as the river. How bad was the damage? And what'd you end up doing with the engines and rolling stock? Well, the roundhouse on the other end of the line hadn't even been thought of since Peoria was just near interchange point with the Santa Fe. The terminals basically flip-flopped in importance. What Marion is now railroad-wise is what Peoria was like prior to the flood. The track leading over there is basically washed out, overgrown, and still floods during heavy rainfall. In fact, Marion is practically settled into a mini valley between the rolling hills ahead of us and the cliffs of Fort Madison behind us. In summary, flooding is a bit of an issue all around here. It was probably best we never built here in the first place. Shall we move on? Yeah. We're running parallel to the Santa Fe here. Nothing much going on other than trees and a bit of swamp and mosquitoes. I don't mean to sound bold, but I take it weed control isn't top priority here? Well, when you run an obscure short line deep in Illinois, I don't think anyone's in a hurry here or too worried about looks. Here's the first of a handful of flag stops, Little Orleans. This is a stop primarily for farmers or for someone looking to hitch a quick ride to Marion or somewhere north of here. So what's the story behind the line? The INW started up in 1888 as a three-foot gauge line for it being cheap and easy to build. It was chartered for farmers to get their livestock and crops to the growing city of Fort Madison and to reach connections with the Santa Fe who had recently expanded west out of Galesburg and had made their way into Fort Madison, Iowa. Oh, by the way, this is La Prairie, a tiny little place with a big power plant on your left. Our 060 knows that spur like the back of his hand. Wheels. Anyway, the line served small amounts of pastures, farmers, but a good amount of freight and big many other railroad in this state. In the 30s... Uh, uh, I, uh, I hate to interrupt, but are there any uh, signals on this railroad? Ah, uh, no, it's fine. And no, there isn't. It's all radio based out here. Durham's coming up. I'm gonna want to slow down since the track is a bit rough through here. Durham's another flag stop, but tucked away in these trees. As I was saying though, in the 30s this line was hit pretty bad. The tracks were abandoned north of Peoria, which once connected with Merlin. Ah, welcome to Clinton, home of a good sized stockyard and a few industries. Looks like you'll get to meet your first co-worker. Eddie, this is Saris. Saris, this is Eddie. So you're the one who caused those oil tanks to go up in our yard, huh? Ahem. Huh. Yeah, I'm Saris. What's it to ya? Hmm, er, nothing. I'm Eddie. It's a pleasure to meet you. I hope to uh, work well and get along with everyone on this railroad. Are you sure you're an engine? You sound programmed like a computer. Ahem. Ugh. Okay, okay. I'm the head switcher around here, so, uh, don't get in my way so I can just switch out your trains. That's all I got, okay? <coughs> I I'm sorry, okay? That's all. Go on your way now. Not like I can just leave this freight waiting. Mm, good, good meeting you. Hopefully we'll, uh, meet once again soon. Don't mind Saris. Just a tiny locomotive with a big fussy attitude. Small size makes him feel inferior to the other engines who are both 280s. And well, you're a 462 and even bigger than our UP280, I'm pretty sure. Huh. I mean, there's no need to feel that way. Try telling him that. Just 
Just ahead of this past six siding is Rockford. This isn't our flag stop, but on your left toward the west is a stone quarry. Zeros is the only one allowed to go down there due to track condition and environment of the area. I'll have you stop up here briefly. Something wrong? Nah, I just want to explain the history of this area a bit. There isn't anyone else heading up this way, so it's fine. Anyway, this platform was once the interchange point of the 2.5 foot gauge steam locomotives and their full foot gauge mainline here. The branch on your right leads off to a logging complex where 230 inch steam locomotives still work on their isolated line, Porter and Dane. Not so sure I'll have YouTube jobs down there, but if so, it'll be rare. Anyway, the logging branch was built as 30 inch gauge due to the terrain, and of course, it's cheap. The INW main was standard gauge in 1890, but the logging line remained narrow gauge until 1902 when it was standardized. The platform is a testament to the times, really. Indeed it is. We can continue north. Welcome to Bendon, population just over 1,000 people. This is our interchange with the Rock Island. Bendon is also home to our largest passenger station. Up here are the only signals on the line. They're the responsibility of the Rock, however. It's clear to go on through. So with that said, what do you think of the line, Eddie? You haven't said a whole lot. Huh? Oh, oh sorry, I was, uh, it was, well, it's, I think it's nice. I've just been thinking, I guess, and admiring the scenery. Oh, I see. I guess I'm still in shock. I'm actually still running on rails like I did so many years ago, pulling a train to add to that. Glad to hear you're enjoying yourself. I can't really imagine what it must feel like to having a second chance at, well, life, really. It's... it's something, all right. I can tell. Oh, uh, it, it wasn't intrusive or bothersome, was it? No, 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 not at all. Here's Plymouth, the first flag stop for southbound trains. Well, let's start slowing down to about 25 miles per hour here. Peoria is just up ahead. The headquarters of the Illinois and Western Railway Company. Probably slow down to about 5 miles an hour to be honest. Not sure how you'll handle the yard tracks yet. Uh, already then. Not my fault, Saris oh the my god. Good heavens. Is that the yard? Here's my two other engines. Toby and... My foot force lower so it hits every little bumper dip, you insolent thing! Does this happen often? Well, this is a good day compared to others. Do you have a crane? Or at least something to get that engine back on the rails? It's fine! 